My name is Don Use, and I'm the coordinator for Book Trips Book Club program. I'm here today with author Stephen Frankel to talk about his critically acclaimed best selling creative nonfiction narrative, Clara's Secret. We're absolutely thrilled that Clara's Secret is one of the book selections available in Book Trips Book Club program for January. Thanks so much for taking a few minutes to talk to us today, Stephen. It's a pleasure. We're going to dive right in because we only have about five minutes. So no spoilers, but what can you share about the book that we wouldn't necessarily find on the jacket cover? Well, beyond Clara's secret, uh, the narrative uh, takes place in two time periods. Uh, the first is uh, during Clara's adolescence uh, in Berlin during the Belle Epoch of the early 20th century and her immigration journey from Berlin to New York in 1939. Uh, readers will discover the transformation of culture during each of these eras, the beauty of the 20th of the early 20th century, in contrast to the decline of humanity toward World War in the 1930s, from a personal perspective. Very interesting. Can you just briefly tell me, like, what is what does a creative nonfiction narrative? Um, how do you how does that differ from fiction? Well, this really follows uh, true stories. It's about a real uh, protagonist, uh, Clara, yeah. and it also uh, uh, includes characters that are real. So there are a whole host of those characters. Uh, and um, fiction is really, to a large degree, as I understand it, uh, sort of made up. This was all uh, created after six years of research. Uh, so it was researching not only um, information about Clara, but it was also researching information about uh, Berlin and about each of the characters. Uh, my wife and I actually traveled to Berlin. We also went to places like Ellis Island so that we could understand exactly what the um, conditions were like uh, for traveling out of uh, Berlin and also uh, to understand a little bit more about what uh, the Belle Epoch was all about. Fascinating. It sounds like I haven't had the pleasure of reading it yet. It is high on my to be to be read list. Um, but it sounds like it would be a good lock for a book club. So why do you think this would make such a great book club selection? Well, in addition to the broad arc of the narrative, readers will find stories within the story. So the book was inspired by an album of 150 plus original autographed portrait cards collected by my paternal grandmother, Clara, during the beautiful era. Uh, the narrative captures Clara's encounters with five of the most remarkable characters. They include Mark Twain, Isadora Duncan, Enrico Caruso, Richard Strauss, and Theodore Roosevelt. Wow. Uh, of course, Isadora Duncan was the progenitor of modern dance. Enrico Caruso was probably the most outstanding uh, tenor in uh, the history of music. Richard Strauss was a uh, musical composer. And um, it also describes the reasons why they were in Berlin during the Belle Epoque. What were they doing there? What were their experiences there? And in some cases, um, for example, in the case of Enrico Caruso, he was only there for, I think, a total of four days, uh, two different engagements at two separate times for two days, so two nights only. So there was a very narrow window uh, of opportunity when Clara could have obtained his signature. So hopefully Clara's Secret will encourage lively discussion about its themes and comparisons with current events. That sounds perfect for a book club. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to veer off your book for a little bit because we're going to be start kicking off in January, which everybody has their uh, reading goals that they like to go into. So what um, was the best book, would you say, not fiction or nonfiction that you read in the last year and why? Well, I'd have to say um, Sapiens. Uh, I guess it's uh, the subtitle is A Brief History of Humankind, and it's by Yuval Harari. I think it's a very popular book, but it's also nonfiction. And uh, this book is really engaging because it presents new methods of understanding our history, human history, 
and its provocative content that encourages thoughtful reading. And I think that um, may be somewhat comparable to some of the content of Clara's Secret. I'm right. hoping that uh, readers will see that it also encourages provocative thought and, uh, and careful uh, reading. I've got my two books for January that I have to read for sure now, yours and this other one. So thank you for that. Um, I've really enjoyed this discussion, honestly, and um, I'd love to talk further, but I know we have to wrap it up. So I'm going to say thank you very much for your time again. Well, it was a pleasure writing Clara's Secret, and uh, I really hope uh, that, the, uh, that it captures the imagination of readers. I hope so, too. For more information about Stephen's amazing book, please check out the book club page on the booktrib.com website. Thank you.